What is going on YouTube? Right, it's no surprise to everyone watching this video that I love collecting. How could you not? You know, and all you collectors out there, you know exactly what I mean. You know, every piece in your collection has a memory attached to it. You know, everything you have, you probably remember the exact moment you got it. You know, maybe you got it online, maybe you got it at a card show or the LCS or wherever you were. And uh, everything you have just has a great memory to it. You know, every piece is one more section that just makes this collection yours and nobody else's. You know, in certain pieces you might, you know, may have just picked up on a whim. And some, uh, you might have been so excited to get. You know, for example, getting a pipe that was owned by Cy Young. You know, that was, that was really cool. You know, been excited to pick up a batting glove that was worn by the great Derek Jeter. You know, meeting guys like Al Kaline and Ernie Banks. Having them sign these hats. You know, saving a POG set from when you were young. Having three Yankees sign it years later. Completing a set of five cards from 1881. You know. You know, looking at a Bill Dickey signed photo that I got for Christmas. <laughs> you know, about uh, you know, 10 or 11 years ago. You know, of course... Things like the crown jewel in my collection. You know, Babe Ruth signed baseball. You know, everything has a great memory to it. Everything has a great story. You know, it took me a while, but putting together the first five Hall of Famers in a nice display. You know, it's, you know, getting cards like in 1887. Mike King Kelly, Tobin Lithograph, you know, one of the biggest stars of the uh, 1800s, you know, meeting the great Mike Tyson and having him sign your Mike Tyson's Punch-Out Nintendo game that you had when you were a kid, you know, everything you collect has an awesome memory to it, but this video is actually going to be about one particular item that really doesn't carry a high book value but the sentimental value to me is priceless and that is what I'm going to tell you guys about right now okay so what you see in front of you is a T206 Miller Huggins graded a 2 now to most collectors this wouldn't really be a big deal you know it's a nice card but it's nothing uh, that special. But to me, this is one of the favorite pieces of my collection, and I'm going to tell you why. So let's go back to 2006. I was actually engaged at the time, and my fiancé at the time and I were supposed to get married in September. Well, we ended up breaking up in May after uh, being together for five years. So I still had that week off in September that I had taken that was going to be for our wedding and our honeymoon. So uh, as time got closer, I really wanted to do something very special with that week off. So I'd actually asked my dad at a certain point, I said, Pops, what do you think about going to Cooperstown? It's some place I always wanted to go, but I had never gone. And uh, he was down with it, so I planned it for that week. So uh, September 2006 was the first time I had ever gone to uh, the Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum in Cooperstown. Now at the time, I hadn't been collecting, you know, I'd been collecting for a few years, mostly autographs at the time. I, I didn't really get big into cards yet. It was mostly signed baseballs and things like that. You know, and a few cards from like the 50s and the 60s, but nothing this old. And of course, anybody who's been to Cooperstown knows that Main Street is lined with memorabilia shops up and down and I really wanted to walk away from Cooperstown with something special not just something you saw every day but something really special so I'm going to memorabilia shop after memorabilia shop 
And I'm seeing a lot of stuff that I'm seeing at the LCS is by me. You know, you know, the same kind of autograph pictures and same autograph balls and the same cards. Um, anything that really jumped out at me was way out of my price range because obviously everything there is very overpriced. And I started getting a little bit discouraged, to be honest, that I wasn't going to come home with anything really special. You know, I was almost going to have to settle for something. Well, the last shop we went into had a whole bunch of vintage cards. And when I say vintage, I'm talking about Gaudi cards. I'm talking about tobacco cards, caramel cards. And I saw this card, and I just fell in love with it from the start. You know, being a Yankee fan and Miller Huggins being the first uh, manager of when the Yankees really started to become a dynasty, you know, when uh, Babe Ruth came along, I looked at this card and uh, I had to have it, you know, and uh, talking to the guys there at the shop, you know, they, uh, like I said, they had a really nice selection of old cards and, and it was really the only store on Main Street that really had old cards like this. So I had to have this one and I scooped it up and um, we went to the museum for a second time, you know, uh, that day, cause this was, um, you know, the, the second day. But um, so being in the museum and holding this card, I, I, you know, to me it felt like I was walking around with the T206 Honus Wagner, as corny as that is to say, but this was my first tobacco card in my collection and to me this will this card will always remind me of the first time I went to Cooperstown um, you know I went there with my dad it was really special we we loved the museum it was beautiful anyone who hasn't been there please do your best to get there at some point uh, I've been there twice actually in my life but um, this was from the first time and um, you know a week that could have been a rough week for me. It turned out to be very memorable. And uh, this card, I look at it and I will always think of that first time going to Cooperstown and seeing the Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum. So I just wanted to share that little memory with you guys on YouTube. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, you know what? Post a video, guys, on, uh, you know, what piece in your collection may not be the most valuable but probably has the most sentimental value to you. I'd love to see it. All right, guys. Well, you have a good night, and I will see you next time.